So, with all the recent news surrounding 2K23, them revealing the cover athletes and stuff like that, I really thought we were going to see an endgame Michael Jordan or LeBron James card of some form this Friday. And, um... I was extremely wrong. In fact, it's the exact opposite. It has nothing to do with cover athletes or anybody under six foot ten. As a matter of fact, guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the pack market right here. And you can see our end games of the week are two cards I didn't think we were gonna be seeing together. End game Giannis and end game Yao Ming. Now things get even crazier, and I made a video about this, but let's take a look at it together. Yeah. So there's the hero Giannis, which honestly, most people aren't caring to pull, but then we get started. You got the anniversary Yao Ming, you got the signature series Yao Ming, which are new ones that were thrown in here. You got the colossal one, still kind of whatever. Huh? And as we move forward, things get crazier and crazier. Out of position, point guard, shooting guard, Yao Ming. Yeah, they're doing this before Chris Paul got some kind of end game. They're doing this before LeBron, Michael Jordan, Ben Simmons. Like, this is getting very ridiculous. As we keep going, there's the regular Invincible playing center and power forward. Yeah, he can play the four. And then you've got the end game Yao Ming himself at center and power forward as well. They reduced his weight to 244 pounds. So he's able to curry slide even though he does have the tray escape and the set shot 25. This is probably gonna be by far the best center in the game and arguably the best card in the game as well. You've also got the glitch Yao, which we got a while ago. This is a card we don't wanna pull. And then when we get to Giannis, you got the same situation, anniversary. And actually for the budget players, they got a swish point guard Giannis that you can pull I'm assuming this one's gonna be flying out of pack so if you can't afford the end game one there's another option but then you've got another version of the invincible and then you've got the small forward center end game version which I think is actually the better end game card he's got set shot 25 and the tray escape meanwhile the point guard one has the base three jumper and the curry escape so depending on what you want out of the card I still think this one's gonna be better but this is likely gonna be more expensive because he plays point guard and then of course we got the old invincible one and the out of position and then all the other galaxy opals and whatnot in the game guys this is easily the craziest drop that we have seen so far starting today it is just going to be Giannis and Yao Ming in the unlimited and clutch time streets it's super chaotic but of course you know what we're here to do we're here to open some packs hopefully this time we can actually pull an end game now as always if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button we're on that grind to 400k recently just hit 356,000. The growth over the last week has been amazing and I appreciate all the support. Let's keep it pushing. Summer's almost over and 2K23 is around the corner. All right, 900,000 VC has been secured. What's super funny is last week I said I was done opening packs with VC and uh, here I am lying to myself. Now to be fair, I would open packs with MT if I actually had enough, but in this case, if I open it with MT and I pull nothing, then I can't actually buy the card to get you guys a video now let's see what the pack odds are looking like right now is there actually end game Yao Ming's in these streets because I don't want to be opening packs if I'm not gonna see any and you guys can see there's quite a few already I'm guessing he's gonna go for like 2.5 million MT but let's not waste any time let's get right into it man so like I was saying earlier NBA 2k23 is around the corner and I need y'all to let me know in the comments if you are actually getting the new 2k which version are you getting? I feel like if you're really an NBA fan, the championship edition seems like the one to get. The reason I say that is because it comes with League Pass, and usually League Pass on its own is more expensive than the championship edition. But now, I can actually watch my NBA games without having to click on different ads because, you know, everybody is streaming games these days. And I just get tired of that because you're behind on stuff, and it's not really the vibe. Plus, the championship edition looks super clean. I wanted to get a physical copy of the game but it doesn't look like it comes with any physical items like they did in the past i know before there was basketballs it could have been a jersey it could have even been like an action figure of devin booker or michael jordan but it doesn't look like that's the case but i'm not going to complain too much because again having nba league pass is unreal here though is our first dark matter let's flip a coin will it be Giannis flying out of these packs or will it be yao ming's I'm gonna go with Giannis. I feel like it's gonna be Giannis. Power forward, number 34. Please be the one. Start us off on a good note. Who's it gonna be? Invincible. Our first Dark Matter's an Invincible. 
I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. I would have liked the other newer Invincible, but that's still a big dub. I was expecting to get the anniversary version or something. Oh, is this the day our luck finally changed? In our last pack opening, we could barely get an Invincible. In this pack opening, we've already started it off with an Invincible in our first pack. For those of you guys that have been watching my pack openings, you know I'm not exactly the luckiest person when it comes to the end game, so maybe our luck is changing. Let this be an Invincible Yao Ming, and we're in business. Eastern again, small forward, 34. Hold on. If this is the end game, I'm gonna lose it. No shot. What? Ladies and gentlemen, we've only been opening packs for two minutes. Our luck has changed. My first two cards were an invincible and an endgame card. Giannis Antetokounmpo, this took zero effort. I didn't even know how to react. Welcome home. Oh my goodness, is that the only one you can get when you see small forward? I'm legitimately still stunned. I refuse to believe this is fake. I gotta be waking up from some kind of dream. Invincible and Giannis, or Invincible and Endgame Giannis within five packs. We're only eight packs into our first box. It doesn't matter how the rest of this pack opening goes. I don't have to spend more VC. We've already secured ourselves an end game like three minutes into this pack opening. All we're missing now is Yao Ming. If I can get the point guard Yao Ming, I'll be happy. Obviously, I would very much like the end game, but if we get the point guard one, or if we get the invincible, or if we get the end game, I'm going to be a happy camper. That looks like it's going to be a Galaxy Opal. Somebody I haven't pulled. There's Mike D'Antoni, though. I don't think anyone cares about coaches at this point in the year because everyone's a 99. I cannot believe <laughs> I just pulled Timothy. Wait, who is this? Don't I have a LeBron? Oh, the season one. I was going to say, did they sneak in LeBron James in these packs? I really just pulled Endgame Giannis. <laughs> I'm having a very hard time processing this. I do not get lucky, guys. I don't. Honestly, 2K gods, thank you. Just because 2K did that, I might have to, you know, give away a copy of 2K to one of you guys. Because now, for the rest of this pack opening, no matter how bad it is, the vibes have been set. I've already pulled the best card, basically, within the first box. I can't imagine what we might see on the topper. Now, only seeing two Dark Matters in 17 packs is rare because, again, the chance is like 25%, but damn, this is a good start. There's that other Dark Matter. Now, if this ends up being Endgame Yao Ming or another Invincible Giannis, I'm going to lose it. Just, just give me something bad so this looks like a normal pack opening. Western, center, number 11. You can't tell what version it is. I know one thing's for sure. It's not the point guard, but it is going to be the My Team Anniversary. This is what I was expecting to see a lot more of when I was opening packs. Not an invincible and an end game off the bat, but again, man, we'll take it. Back to back dark matters. Give me another Yao. Make this one an end game and I'll scream. Western, center. Number 11, show us the money 2K, please. And it's gonna be a signature series. Still not mad at that. It's a card I haven't pulled. And honestly, that card art is beautiful. Yao Ming's looking majestic until he starts stomping the floor, man. Relax. So we've pulled two Giannis's and we've pulled two Yao Ming's. Who is going to tie break for the one that's coming out of packs the most? Western looks like it is gonna be Yao, not the point guard version, but nothing I'm mad about. As long as this ends up being an invincible question mark it's gonna be the anniversary again okay so it looks like our pack look it's come back down to earth no more craziness Ugh, we wasting no time man on to box number two now as i open these packs man y'all gotta let me know in the comments what have you been up to this week and again which version of 2k are you getting i didn't have time to talk about that because our pack look got crazy but 
Honestly, if you don't really care for the NBA League Pass, you might as well just go with the Standard Edition because I didn't really see any benefits that were going to be worth it for all the other ones. Actually, I'm wrong. I do believe the Digital Deluxe version does give you both gens of the game. It does look like 2K is still focused on current gen at the end of the day, so it's just interesting to see. But I'm guessing probably by next year, they're going to end up being a lot more focused on next gen than current gen. I'm still surprised the current gen and next gen are going to be that similar. But then we're probably going to see two turns tournaments again and stuff like that after you let me know which 2k you're getting though let me know man how are y'all doing mentally as always at the end of the week i like to check up on you guys you know life can be a grind sometimes and not many people get asked that question hopefully all my homies out there are doing all right as good as these packs is honestly what i'm hoping for your guys' lives but uh let's keep it going dark matters definitely don't feel like they're flying out of these as much as the previous packs but like I said, we are on good mood vibes. Number nine is giving me a Giannis vibe. We're yet to pull a bad Giannis, so you might as well throw my one my way. Western, center again, number 11. If I had to guess, probably another My Team Anniversary. If it's an end game, I'll give away a copy of 2K. I promise you that. Right there, we get a holographic, though. That's nice, but... If we manage to pull another end game, <laughs> y'all are getting another copy of 2K. Back to back Dark Matters. Come on, 2K, do you want me to give away one of your copies? Straight out of my own wallet? We're not seeing any Giannis's whatsoever. Show me something. Once again, another My Team Anniversary. Did we just three-peat with Dark Matters? That's back to back to back if I'm not wrong. I'm not complaining about it. Oh, there's my boy Rui. There's a Lakers jersey. It's telling me that it's gonna be Giannis. I remember when you guys used to tell me that I look like Giannis and I didn't really see it, but once again, it's another Yao Ming. Yeah, see, now these anniversary ones are flying like crazy. Yao, step back a little bit. You're a giant. You don't need to run at the screen like that, man. But, oh. Uh, that's four. That's four Dark Matters in a row. Oh my days, what is going on today? It's ya shooting go. No, this this isn't the end game one. The end game one plays power forward and mm. yeah, so okay. That's all good. I saw shooting guard and I started to freak out just a little bit, but we haven't even gotten the anniversary Giannis yet. It's been nothing but good pack luck for us. Four dark matters in a row is nuts. <laughs> Yo, I'm actually getting blessed for once. Now, they have all been anniversary cards and not the craziest stuff aside from those first two cards that we pulled. But like I said, it doesn't matter what our pack luck looks like now. Everything is on good vibes. Another dark matter. Please be Giannis. We've been seeing too many Yao Mings. I am due for a anniversary Giannis. I don't have him yet. This looks like it's going to be another out of position. Welcome to the team, baby. That is not the out of position we're looking for, though. We would like the end game point guard or even the Swish one. That Swish one that plays point guard, I did not look at his sigs, but I'm assuming he's going to be usable to some degree. The, the main reason you want Giannis a point guard anyways is because he's going to be a defensive god. This is seven dark matters in like 10 packs <laughs> eastern power forward 34 show me something good power forward means it might be the end game one is my pack look with Giannis godlike no it is not it is going to be the anniversary hey on the bright side though we got that anniversary one out the way now all i need is the swish version all i need is the point guard version of yao and we are definitely vibing is that another dark matter Eight Dark Matters in a box. This has to be the world record. I've never seen more. Yao Ming, center, number 11. We know it's not the point guard. Oh, so it's the other signature series we haven't pulled yet. I'm not really sure what the stats are like on this card. Does he have the Scotty Pippen behind the back? If so, he's basically automatically usable. Not gonna get our ninth Dark Matter, but we will be getting it in our topper. Our chances at Dark Matters in this box was almost 50%. That is broken. At this point, just give me an endgame or invincible. Giannis, power forward, okay. Come on. Something is telling me this is more than just a regular power forward, but something is also telling me this is just an anniversary. The 75th anniversary. I'll take it. I was always a big fan of that card art. The way it looks in the background, so clean. We're now jumping into box number three, and even though we haven't pulled anything crazy since, I'm happy. <laughs> like, we got four Dark Matters in a row, man. That just makes up for the fact that they were all fairly garbage. But 
At the end of the day, there is still a chance at pulling some other invincible. I need a good version of Yao Ming. That's one thing we haven't been able to do. We've gotten two good versions of Giannis, but not one good version of Yao Ming just yet. I either need something that's out of position or 99 everything, AKA end game or invincible. And the way Usman Garuba is looking at this pack tells me that this really might be something. Eastern. Shooting guard, that's going to be the out of position. So at least with the Giannis cards, it's kind of easier to tell whether you pulled the fire or not versus all the previous ones where you had to sit all the way to the end and then get tortured when you have that slight bit of hope. But yep, just another out of position. Back to back dark matters. Nah, dark matters are flying for me this week. They were so bad for me last week. That's Eastern power forward number 34. Give me the new Invincible. The new Invincible plays power forward and center. I will forgive you for any bad Yao Mings if I can get another godly Giannis. And honestly, this Giannis is probably super godly as well. The only good thing I like about these whole two player three peats again. What I was trying to say is if y'all saw my tweet this morning, I was saying that this whole two players having like seven versions of their cards gets a little bit boring when it comes to opening packs and playing with cards because you're essentially playing with the same card. But in this case, it's good because anyone of any budget can afford any version of a said card. So I will say it's really good that they're doing this for budget players at the end of the day. Yao Ming, I need you to come home in the best way possible. That's the only one we didn't want. I mean, I thought we were gonna pull a lot more of him. We've definitely been pulling a lot of the Giannis, like the older Giannis, but yeah, I would like to see- Holy shit. Is that four? Is that four Pete or three Pete? That's four. What? I don't know how to explain what's going on. Just go with the vibes. Just go with the vibes. Are the vibes there? I mean, I feel like the fact that we're pulling a ton of them means bad luck because in that first box, we didn't get many, nope. but we got good luck. I thought that was the invincible for just a second, but another signed version of the Yao Ming card. Not mad at it. Pack number 12, man. It took a little bit, but here we are seeing that little twerk from the card, man. Marvin what? Bagley Hollow, honestly, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Western, center, still no point guard Yao. I hope that card isn't going for too much over 100k because I definitely want him. I gotta build the tallest lineup of all time. We've been getting a lot of this anniversary one. Hopefully the lock-in for that set is fairly soon and hopefully it's something nice because 2k, you gotta give us the lock-in probably before August. After August, nobody's really playing like that. You guys are gonna be dropping more news on 2k23. Heck, we might even be getting a demo this year because we didn't get a demo last year. I think we got a demo the year before, but I know 2K22 was a little bit more rushed because of the pandemic and stuff like that. So hopefully this year things are a lot better regarding a demo because I'd like to get a feel for the game before it really does come out. But uh, pack number 16 here, not blessing us. Porzingis, that's another man that really needs himself an end game card because he's been good this year, but he hasn't really been blessed like he usually is in previous 2Ks. All right, so we didn't get anything else up until the topper. I don't know whether we've been pulling more Yao's or Giannis's. All I know is <laughs> we got to see something fire at this point, man. And it's another signature series, Yao Ming. Okay. I mean, again, that card art is so tough, but that's not the Yao we're looking for. We got one more box here that we can open. I was thinking about going to 10 packs, but the 20s have been blessing me. And by blessing me, I mean the first one blessed me, so I'm committed to it now. We, we can't turn back on them now. Pack number two out of 21. Come on, let's fly through these. If y'all give me six Dark Matters in a row again, I won't be mad. Right there was a Galaxy Opal Giannis, though. That's actually pretty funny. All right, so we're like 11 packs in here, and we still haven't seen our first Dark Matter. 2K was letting it fly so much, now they're like, you know what, we gotta ease up! 12, 13, I'm more than halfway through and haven't seen one. I'm honestly not really complaining because like I said, my previous packs had way better Dark Matter odds, but are they just not gonna give me one in general? <laughs> 14, give me six in a row again and we don't have to be mad about it. I gotta see one, finally, 15 packs in and that's when we see our first one in this box. George Hill looks stunned, this might be good. Western center, not the point guard one. I'm hoping it'll be invincible, but honestly, my uh, my belief for it is low. We've been seeing way too many of the anniversary to expect anything else. Yup, a lot of people are struggling to pull good versions of Yao. But again, the fact that I pulled those two Giannis's early on saved this pack opening. K 
Can we at least see two Dark Matters in this box? Thank you! Dead in the middle. This tells me point guard Giannis. Western, nope. Center, not a point guard either. I wanted to sing a song, but I have no idea what lyrics would work with Yao Ming except for uh, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming. Hey, we get one more Dark Matter here to end the box. So three Dark Matters in a 20. Still not the worst odds, not the best, but again, not complaining. Giannis, power forward, please be invincible. It's probably gonna be the anniversary because it looks like it's that time of the pack luck where, yeah, the juice is kind of calmed down. So I guess we open packs early enough that we saw the sauce. Usually I'm pretty late to these pack openings and we got a topper here, man. Make it good. Western, center. Ah, the signature series one is flying. I'm getting this one more than I'm getting the flash glitched one. And again, I'm not mad at it. It's got 47 Hall of Famers, but that's not what we want. All right, so I'm going to open a couple of these end game Yao Ming packs, mainly because I really want to see if we can pull that point guard one, but I honestly don't feel like I need to spend more VC. If y'all want to see me do more pack openings this weekend, if we manage to get, let's say, 7,000 likes on this video, I got y'all because we finally got blessed. I don't want to push my luck when I've already gotten blessed in one pack opening session. So we'll save the rest for the weekend. Maybe we'll open again trying to chase the end game Yao Ming, but it's up to you guys, man. Can we hit that like goal? I think so. There is no Dark Matters flying out of these endgame singles, and as I say, one pops up with that Trent Forrest card again. He plays point guard, shooting guard. Can this card? Western center, number 11. I, I think we've pulled more of this signature series than we have anniversaries. They're really flying like that. Everybody is gonna have a Yao Ming on their lineup. There is literally no Dark Matters flying out of this. 645,000 left. I don't think I'll go under 600,000 just because, you know, I'm gonna need MT for some videos that I wanna do this weekend, but yeah, the Dark Matter luck is not that good. I might go in for one more 450 just for you guys. You know what? We pulled the end game. Let's do it. I had to do it, man. We're on the good vibes. I probably could have saved quite a bit doing so, but maybe this is where we pull something crazy. If we pull something crazy, I'll be happy. If not, then we might have to do another video where we chase that, you know, end game Yao Ming. But uh, let's try to fly through this box and let's hope something better comes out of this because those singles, they really have not been good to me. Like they've actually been pretty inconsistent. Another signature series, Yao Ming. Quite the set to put him in. I probably would have put him in something more recent like the Gamma or something like that, but back to back Dark Matters, guess what 2K? I forgive you. So long as this is something fire, but <laughs> probably the same thing again. We back with the three-peats, man. Call me Michael Jordan, who plays shooting guard, and so should this Yao Ming. Nope. <laughs> we tried. Bruh. Got ourselves another Dark Matter right beside Thor. Didn't the new Thor movie just come out? Is that a sign for good luck? Nope, I see Doc Rivers there. It's over. <laughs> Doc Rivers ruined that automatically. Yay, another anniversary. Again, I, I really hope that lock-in is something nice to maybe increase the price of it, but... I doubt it. Back to back dark matters. I don't even want to see the animation. J just show me something good. Still Western, still center, and still number 11. This right here is the Trailblazers Carmelo Anthony of last week. Unless... Nope. Yep. Yep. Oh, back to back to back. Jokic is excited. It's got to be good. Four in a row. Boys and girls. Ronald. If, if this is Endgame Yao, <laughs> you're getting a kiss. What? LOL! Uh, five dark matters in a row. Give me any invincible, anything glitchy. Oh, there's something different. I don't know what the difference is between this one or the signature series or whatever, but 
something different is always nice. We still don't have point guard Giannis or point guard Yao Ming. Not even the end game versions. I'm talking about the swish card and the out of position one. Just look at how gross that is. <laughs> so many Yao Mings. All right, boys, final box of the day. If we can finish it like we started it, things are going to be very good here in the HTB streets, man. Hey, little dark matter at number four. Cody Martin and Bickerstaff look stunned. Eastern power forward has the chance to be the invincible, but probably going to be the anniversary. So one thing I wish they did is they gave Giannis his actual younger look before the longer hair, before the beard. I hope they have player models of younger versions of these players. And that way, when we actually get those cards, it makes a lot more sense. For me, it always matters so much when the card art actually matches the player model. Is that just me? Y'all got to let me know in the comments. Do y'all really care or don't really care about that? For me, I feel like it makes the card worth picking up because some people might want Want this card because the younger version of Giannis just looks cool in game to them or something like that man pack number 16 that's my favorite number haven't seen very many dark matters at all in this box but maybe we can make up for it man Eastern shooting guard that is going to be the out of position that's not what we want it is what it is I gotta see one more dark matter before the topper right I simply got to, thank you, because if we only got two Dark Matters in a box, I'd definitely be a little bit rattled. Western, center, I, I tried to be pre-excited because I wanted to, you know, manifest that it was endgame Yao Ming, but uh, I, I gotta stop hoping, I'm reaching too much. The chances of pulling two end games in one pack opening is slim. I could barely pull one in the like past month, but here we are at the topper, the last Dark Matter of the day. End it off on a good note. Western, center, 11, invincible or endgame? Invincible or endgame? Invincible or signature series? Wawa Wiwa is a very nice.